どうもみなさんお疲れ様です。ひろき先生です。Welcome back to For All Japanese Learners.Today, I would like to tell you about Japanese names.Do you know the meaning behind your name?Just as your name has a meaning, Japanese names also have meanings and origins.In today's lesson, I would like to share you the top three most common surnames among Japanese people. The EU 2021's three most common first names for boys and girls, respectively. Typical names used in document forms and the end, three of my personal favorite names. So then, let's get started. So then, let's start with the top three most common surnames in Japan. Number three, Takahashi. It is said that there are about 1,399,000 Takahashi san in Japan. The origin of the word Takahashi is high bridge or high pillar. For the ancients, it was a longing to build a high bridge over the river, connect two regions. It is also believed that building a pillar to connect heaven to earth. Was a literal, and the family name Takahashi was also responsible for the occupation of the office. Number two is Suzuki. It is reported that there are approximately 1,786,000 Suzuki san in Japan. Suzuki is a family name of the priests in Kumano region, and it is said to be descended from the Hozumi family. Which was given by the emperor during the Jimmu expedition to the east. Hozumi refers to a rice field where rice seeds are piled up, and the stick placed in the center of the rice field is called Suzuki Inkuman, which in turn became Suzuki in Japanese. Breaking down the kanji character, Suzu is used for bell and ki for tree. And number one is Sato. It is said there are about 1,853,000 Sato san in Japan. In olden days in Japan, surnames were reserved for nobles and people of high rank. However, as time went by, people of lower status were also allowed to have surnames. The origin of the surname Sato is said to date back to Asuka period. When the Emperor Tenchi gave this surname to the nobleman Nakatomi no Kamatari, it later spread widely throughout Japan and is now the most common surname in the country. The kanji to represents the Fujiwara clan, which appears frequently in Japanese history, and the sa represents the job title in olden days in Japan. And the following is the list of the first name. There were most common last year in 2020. First, breaking down by gender. To begin with, Japanese names contain kanji characters, and since parents are allowed to decide how to read them with a certain degree of freedom, there are often multiple readings for a single kanji. Okay, so let's take a look. The third most common boy's name is Aoi, Ao, So, and Sora. A blue sky is sometimes called Soten in Japanese, and Ao means blue. Thus, the kanji character for Ao reminds us of sky and the sea, giving us a fresh and a vast image. It also means the way grass and the tree grow thick, giving an impression of strong and solid roots. The second and most popular name was Haruto or Hinata. The word Haru is a positive and a powerful character. It gives the impression of bright person like the sun. It is easy to give a very positive name and is popular among both men and women. And the word To or Sho is a bird spreading its wings and flying around high in the sky. It is a kanji character with such a strong image. The word evokes the sense of freedom and a scale to strength. 
This name brings to mind bright sunlight and fluttering wings in the sky. It probably expressed the wish that the recipient will flap his or her wings high in the sky towards the bright future. The most common boy's name in 2021 was Ren. The name Ren is originated from the lotus flower. Lotus flower blooms beautifully after emerging from muddy water and bear many fruits after blooming. The name Ren evokes the image of strength and a clean heart. In 2021, due to the impact of the COVID, some parents expressed their wish that their children would be able to overcome difficulties. Next, let's look at the girl's name. The third one is Ling. The word Ling comes from the word tightening and express the sharp, firm, and a majestic figure. Although the kanji din has a strong impression of the girl's name, it can also convey an image of bravery. Din also gives the impression of strength to the core and intelligence. From this, parents can express their wishes for a person who has her own opinions and is independent. A person who is elegant, beautiful, and intelligent. And a person who is active and brave in the name. The second and most popular girl's name was Himari, Hinata, and Hina. This name evokes a bright sunlight and a lovely, straight sunflower. The parents probably mean that they want their child to grow up to be bright and true. The most popular girl's name in 2021 was Tsumugi. Tsumugi is based on the silk fabric weaving with silk strings, which is done carefully and over a long period of time. The name gives an image of words such as connect, strong, and hardworking. With the outbreak of the COVID in 2021, Many parents wanted to include the importance of human connections in the meaning of the name. Therefore, the trend towards Tsumugi, which evokes the image of connecting, increased in favor of this name. Well, we'll take a look at some of the names that are most commonly used in documents. And other entry examples in Japan. A name like John Smith in the US. In Japan, Yamada Taro is the most commonly used name, and it is the name that comes to the mind when people think of the names. It is common recognition among Japanese people. The five most commonly used kanji in surnames are Ta, No, Kawa, Yama, and Tani, but Yamada. Is the only top ranked surnames that consist of only these kanji, Yama and Ta. In other words, Yamada Taro, a combination of Yamada and Taro, which is familiar to many people across Japan, is widely used for entry example because it looks like a normal name to anyone who sees it. Before the Edo period, it was traditional for the eldest son to be named Taro and the second son Jiro. Regardless of his real name, to indicate the number of children in the family. This is why Taro often appears in old tales. Taro was the most familiar name for the eldest son, who is more common than the second or third sons. Based on the above, Yamada Taro is widely used throughout Japan as an example name to be filled. As in a combination of familiar names. Finally, I would like to introduce my personal favorite names. Let's start with a boy's name. Number one, Ren. Because easy to remember, simple, and has a nice ring to it. Number two, Asahi. This is a bright name. That reminds me of morning sun, and it can be used for a girl's name. 
And number three, Itsuki. It is a name that evokes an image of elegance and is a bit of a dream name of mine. Next is a girl's name. Number one, Asuka. This name can also be used by both men and women. I like it because it can also be written as Asuka like this and it has a positive and free image of flying bird. Number two, Kaede. A gentle name with a calm image reminds me of Oten. And number three, Natsuki. A fresh and lovely name that reminds me of summer. Actually, I heard from my mom and that she used to wonder if it was Hiroki or Natsuki as my name. Now, is there a name you know? By the way, in Japan, there is no culture of giving middle names. So, names basically consist only family name and the first name. And since kanji characters are used to express meanings, and a combination of kanji characters reflects the various thoughts of the parents in the name. What meaning does your name have? Be sure to share them with us in the comment section. Well, that's all for today. And see you guys in the next video. Alright, see you soon. 動画を見てくれてありがとう。この動画がいいねと思ったら高評価とチャンネル登録お願いします。あとインスタグラムのフォローもよろしくお願いします。それじゃあまた。